Hey Access member, in this video tutorial, I'm going to show you how powerful Google keyword research can be for your website traffic. All right, let's check it out. Okay, so here we are on this test website that I created called Video Workout Review. And it was basically a website dedicated to reviewing the Insanity Workout along with some other uh, workout videos. It was also really an experiment to figure out SEO and Google AdSense. And I'm going to show you that this website actually got over 113,000 visitors in the past couple months. And I really only did it with a couple keywords. And I'm going to show you how. So here we are inside the Google Analytics. As you can see, from May 1st, 2013 to January 21st, 2014, um, that's not even one entire year yet. And I had over 135,493 visitors. Now the unique visitors is a whole, over 111,960. So here we are on this page. And as you can see, 89,846 visitors came from Google organic search engine traffic. Now I also had a few from other referrals from Google and also from Bing and Yahoo and the Google UK. So majority of my traffic was from search engines. So I just wanted you to understand that this wasn't driven by social media as much. Uh, mainly it was just Google traffic. Okay, so I'm gonna walk you through the process of basically how I did this keyword research to find the right keywords to get all of this traffic. So you're gonna go to google.com and you're gonna type in Google Keyword Planner. So the first search result should be Google AdWords Keyword Planner, and you wanna click on that. So once you get inside, you should have a page that looks like this. And the first one you wanna select is search for new keyword and ad group ideas. Click on that. And this point, you can basically use this search box to search your niche or whatever you're trying to basically rank for on your keywords. So what I did was I basically typed in the Insanity Workout and I targeted mainly the United States. So I changed my country of origin to just the United States. I want to remove the UK, uh, India, Australia, and Canada. And the reason I decided to do that was mainly the product was sold in the United States. So I wanted to really focus on my target market. And I could also change my country language, which was English, so I left that the same. And I could also change um, if I wanted to search outside of Google's with their search partners. But I'm gonna pretty, pretty much leave that the same as well. So I went ahead and clicked Get Idea. And once you get to this page, it's very important that you click on the tab Keyword Ideas, not Ad Group Ideas. Click, click on Keyword Ideas. And as you can see, the Insanity Workout itself had an average monthly search of about 450,000 visitors a month. And if you hover over this little graph, it basically will give you a trend of the average monthly searches. So in January, there's a high volume of people looking out for workout videos because it's probably their New Year's resolution. And as the months go on, it to the fall and winter months, it starts to taper down. But on average, they average about 450,000 visitors a month if you were the number one ranked on Google. But what I mainly did was down here, there's these keywords as by relevance. So they give you the other keywords that are possible matches within this related niche. So I was basically searching for other keywords that were related to the Insanity Workout that gave me a high volume amount of traffic. So I was thinking, well, you know, what would people search for if they wanted to work out with Insanity Workout? So they pro they probably figure out like, well, what do I what do I need to do out do for the day? Or what's the schedule or calendar for this workout? So I typed in the Insanity Workout schedule. And what came about really shocked me. So the Sandy Workout schedule, there was about average of 60,500 average monthly searches. So that dawned on me that, hmm, 
I wonder if this is a good keyword that I could rank for on Google. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed this quick tutorial on how to do keyword research with Google's Keyword Planner.